Hello, this is Lee Johnson. I'm going to show you how to disassemble the massage gun. The black button in my squeeze it and pull on the uh, handle. Comes right up. So to separate the housing, you have to uncover four screws that are covered by rubber screw cover. Four screws, separate the housing. One black screw on the back cap releases the LED display portion. And after you take out that one screw, you have to turn the back cap counterclockwise about 10 degrees. It'll come right off. As you separate the two halves, one half is connected to the control back cap with four wires, the other one is controlled with three wires. You can disconnect these wires by the uh, modular connector from the uh, control board. Just be careful to mark the orientation of the cables. As you can see, I only took off the connector oh, no. that controls the motor. Well, the control back plate and the battery compartment. I'll leave that section connected. No need at this time to disconnect that, so put it aside. I'm basically going to work on the motor mount. Takes a 5 millimeter Allen to take out this bolt. Which disengages the, the motor transmission to we'll call it the piston. Once you get this five millimeter hex bolt loose, please note there's a locking washer above the um, arm and below the bearing of that arm too. So it sandwiches this gray V-shaped arm with a locking washer above and below. And taking one off the screw usually falls and below the bearing. The cylinder that I just pulled out, or piston, is covered in uh, grease and graphite. It's very messy, that's why I'm wearing gloves. Just a fair warning, it is very messy and it's pretty much permanently stains of all clothing. So careful. I'm checking to see that the mounting screws are all tight and none of the uh, mounting posts are cracked. So four screws gets the uh, motor and, and motor mount out of the uh, casing. 
and there's rubber grommets around each screw for shock absorption. Graphite. With the four screws out, so very messy. you'll have to slightly pry the mount those. up off the posts because, because the, the grommets the keep it pretty snug. Basically graphite. And what I'm doing here, I'm lifting up the uh, repaired or intact. One of the main reasons this thing makes noise is the posts would break case checking and posts are solid and intact give us that this piston is rattling around inside of the uh, the barrel here this is backwards I just want to see it for fit really no way to tighten at this point I'm gonna smear the piston with a heavy automotive So these posts, one, two, and three, have busted before from continual use. Those posts. So that the rubber can flex. So before reassembly, I put just a little dab of cement on the tips of every screw. So the As you can see here, all four of my motor mounts have been repaired before with a gray epoxy and um, blue Loctite. I'm going to slip in the motor now. stuff that's graphite okay. so don't forget this washer goes underneath the armature in between the piston
open the arm before I tighten the full motor mount bushings. Because this is a lot of play. You have to really tighten this five millimeter hex bolt to the point where it will crush the upper and lower lock washers, making them totally secure. And always check to see if the, the bearing and the motor are still rotating freely. And then make your final tightening of the four motor mount screws. And now it's time to assemble the two halves. I'll bring back the uh, battery chamber and control mod uh, parts of the unit. And that's the battery compartment. And this is the LED slash speed controller. And uh, make sure and get this connector from the motor assembly back onto the uh, mini circuit board in correct orientation. I have previously marked it with a red stripe on the side where the red wire would go and there's really only one way you can put this together anyhow. But uh, the reason I didn't even take apart the other, the other connector was because it's uh, hot glued on and I just didn't feel like bringing out a hot glue gun. So I basically put this back together securely and I'll just put a single dab of uh, uh, modeling cement on the corner of Vibrate Loose. Kink the wires so that they don't get in the way of them drive mechanism, we have to come together, that's good, that's good, align that just a little bit offset, and you get the, uh, the three, the three slots, one, two, and three, push that in, give it a little bit of a turn clockwise, and then it's Battery has one groove. There's the groove point right there. Right on. If you use this fork uh, attachment, it does have a pin. It's at the right there. So make sure to get this in straight up, down. Never light goes on. Indicators are working. All my electrical connections are made. Back to one.
working.